Sonia coming on from Joke Monkey Paint Company. How's everybody out there doing today? It is a DIY kind of day. I'm going to share with you guys a project that I got at my local thrift store. Like seriously, when I can find furniture, can you see that for like $4.99? Like that is like heck yeah, all day long. Sign me up. You know what I'm saying? As you guys pop on, say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. That is always fun. And I love it when you guys chat with me. I will definitely do a giveaway tonight and share some Junk Monkey love. Thank you, Carrie. Um, and share some Junk Monkey love to anybody who shares this video and hangs out. At the very end, I'll announce a name for $20 in banana bucks that you can redeem online at junkmonkeypaint.com. And uh, just have to email me, right, before midnight tonight. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, if your name is Hollard. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Maggie. Gwendolyn, how are you? What do you think, girls? What do you think? Four ninety nine, right? I could not leave that. Could not pos positively, man, my words tonight, positively leave that, right? So I have to tell you something as well that's pretty exciting. Look, guys, I got some happy mail today. And uh, as everybody's popping on, I figured I would go ahead and open it, right? There's nothing like some happy mail. You know, it, there's the whole thing. You guys send me happy mail and I love it because you know me so well and it always makes me so happy when I open it. And I love to do it on the air here with you guys so you can enjoy the excitement with me and see what's in the package because I'm sorry, that is just too much fun, right? So I figure I can open it off air or I can do it, do it when I'm on the live broadcast, okay? All right. So this is from, it looks like, C dot Leeper, L or Leper, L-E-P-P-E-R, from South Carolina. I'm going to figure out who you are. Maybe the inside will tell me who you are. <gasps> there is. There is. I'm not, i got to read the letter first. i got to read the letter first. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Oh, that is so awesome. i got a love letter. i got a love letter, right? This is like when you pass notes in school. Do you remember when you did that? When you folded up your notes and you'd, like, leave it for the other person? Oh, that is so awesome. Barbara Klepper, you are so sweet, uh, sweet, oh my gosh. And she is actually getting up and running her own business called Flippin' Gorgeous, I almost said gorgeous, cause you know how I like to say it that way, but Flipping, F-L-I-P-P-I-N-G, Flipping Gorgeous. Like, I think that's an awesome business name, Barbara. I love it, she says, she sent me some, sends me some love. And she says that she enjoys my videos, learning from me, and just enjoys the encouragement and creative advice. And yay, it's helping her uh, just gain confidence to tap into her own creativity. So, oh my gosh, yay, thank you so much, Barbara, right here, me to you right now, saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I didn't say it enough, thank you so much for thinking of me. I mean, I haven't, it's just so exciting just to get to read your letter and your love, and I haven't even gotten into the package, which already I'm seeing color. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing eyeballs. Okay, okay, definitely seeing an owl of some sort here. Is it a bag? Is it like tapest tapestry? Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Look what she sent me! An owl bag. I love it so much, Barbara. Listen, I'll be coming to work tomorrow in this right here my friend and I gotta tell you like I who else out there agrees that you love to have like something that hangs over your shoulder because I'm always scared to death that if I don't have something that hangs over my shoulder when I travel or if I have a camera in my hand or a paintbrush in my hand you know what I'm saying when you're out and about but I'm always nervous I'm gonna like leave my purse somewhere so I definitely love this style that goes over and I can put it in a little bit further if I want but this is like perfect right here so yes when I go home tonight Barbara I'm going to be moving all my stuff into this lovely new owl bag and look she's a girl with a cute little bow so is that not the most adorable thing we everybody's gonna want one now barbara so you're gonna have to tell us where you got it because everybody's gonna want one okay there you go i love it so much i'll go home and transfer it and the next time i say to matt matt can you grab my purse for me he'll be like you switched your purses again anybody else out there do that like seriously you just um I don't know, sometimes it's nice to have a new purse, right? And uh, you just kind of got to weed through all the receipts and all that sort of stuff that you've collected because my purse becomes like a filing cabinet. True story, right? Anybody else? My husband swears he can't find anything in my purse. Maybe I like it that way. But I have everything because if anybody needs anything, I got you covered from Band-Aid right on up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yay! So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right. So we're gonna get started on our DIY today and I also love this awesome wooden chair that I found. Now you guys know that when you're out picking, it's always nice if you can to find 
things that are made out of real wood, right? Because that's the cool thing. Real wood furniture can be repaired and it continues on over the years, right? Press wood, not so much, right? But if you can find a press wood piece and it's in good shape and it's not damaged at all, you can still go ahead and do some beautiful, beautiful uh, finishes to it, right? So I will take either, um, but I love the fact that for five bucks in solid wood, like you can't beat that, right? Hey, Kathy, Lisa, it is. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here so you guys can see what I'm up to today. And it's true, when I thought about this piece, sweet and shabby, all right, sweet and shabby. Every time I've always painted like a little chair like this or something like kind of like smaller kitty furniture, um, especially the girls love it, right? Us girls, we just love our cute little furniture. All right, so today I'm gonna use a color called, can you see that in there? It is, it is called Don't Make Me Blush. Don't Make Me Blush. You can see the pink right there, right? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right, so I got to go ahead and grab a, you guys know I've been collecting mugs for all my stuff around my studio. So this is just my like popsicle sticks, right? And I'll have to show you the mugs that I got yesterday. You know, when you're just buying like two, three dollar mugs just to put on your desk or around your shelving, it can be so pretty with all the colors, you know, with what you love. So I'm just kind of giving my paint a good stir right there. And I will use this again because I'm a user, repurposed or user. So um, I'm gonna lay that over there to dry and then I'm good to go, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. And one of my first tips for you guys when you're doing any sort of chairs or anything like that is, can we do it, can we say it? Who knows, already. Turn it over for heaven's sakes, all right? Because I will tell you that if you paint in the upright position, you're gonna look at it from one side and be like, how did I ever miss that area, right? So do the bottom first, it's the boring part. Nobody's gonna see the upside, you know, down portion of this, but when it rocks back and forth and I want it to be completely, you know, painted the right way. So I'm gonna go do the bottom, but honestly, this is just a real quick flip, literally flip it upside down and uh, get your paint colors on there, right? Facebook's playing with you. Oh, you know what? You know what happens, right guys, when Facebook plays with you, when you start to like have things go wonky on your Facebook, that means they're bringing out some changes. They could be rolling out some, some new cool things for us. So that's always a key when they start to mess around. I also like to do these, um, the, ro the, the rocker part itself, because when the chair rocks up and down, you know, back and forth, I like it being able to match the rest of the chair. What do you guys say, yay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this all over and don't make me blush. And for those of you who ask, Sonia, what do you have to do? Do you have to strip it? Are you gonna sand it? Nope, nope, nope. Um, all I did was clean it, took off my $4.99 stickers that was on it and used my crud cutter. You guys know that's my cleaner, my go-to cleaner. You definitely wanna make sure that after you use crud cutter that your piece is completely dry before you put your paint on though, okay? So don't like crud cutter it and then completely start, um, start your paint job. You want your wood to be dry before you start, okay? Because you want, you know, sometimes you can get weird and funky and an amazing reactions uh, when things like that kind of like amalgamate together, but you probably have a vision and you don't want to uh, Have it go sideways, right? All right, let's turn it right there So I'm just brushing over some don't make me blush And it's just a really pretty like what I call like a vintage pink, you know, I find that um, Like little rocking chairs. I couldn't tell you how many rocking chairs I've painted and sold at this point I think that even for like I mean, I'm not gonna say the C word, but let's just say there is a holiday coming up in just a few months, all right? Yeah, I know you hate me because I just said that, but I didn't say the word. And uh, so make it whatever holiday you want, a gift, a shower, you name it. Um, but especially I find like with the, the end of the year coming up now and we'll be spending more time inside, it is so nice um, of a gift to do a little chair, to um, give to somebody like maybe a little girl in your life, you know what I'm saying? Who's got a little girl that would love a rocking chair? There's just something about a rocking chair, right? So I would like think about maybe putting, finding a cheap rocking chair, putting a, some, a coat of color onto it. And then imagine if you, I mean, you guys help throw out some ideas, but I would definitely throw like some books in with it. You know, I could just see somebody, some little girl enjoying her princess books, sitting in a pink chair with maybe your blankie, how about, would you give them like maybe a, a fuzzy blankie? 
blanket. That would be cute. All kids love their blankets, right? At least most of them do. Have something they carry around with them that makes them happy. I know my son did, that's for sure. He's in the next room, so he would die to know that his mother is actually talking about him with a blanket. Dear Lord, have mercy. All right, we're gonna dry this real fast. I won't talk too loud so you can't hear me, right? They do, Linda. I would definitely do like a, maybe a, oh, a pretty blue, blue slate for a little boy. Now my son actually liked pink growing up, and he still does. Like he likes the, maybe he got a little bit of his mother's colors, but he tend to like, always like wear funky colored shoes and he was definitely he was definitely confident to wear like I think his shoes now are even purple so you know colors can go for any gender it doesn't really make a difference but you kind of probably know the personality of the kid that you're painting for if not somebody will love this chair I definitely will know that maybe a DVD or a movie would be cute right oh slippers yes yes oh my gosh that would be so awesome Quilts, ah, oh, yes. You know, I still remember and, and still have quilts that, um, like I'll give you an example. There was a girl that I worked with at the time that my son uh, was being born and her mom made quilts, just a small baby quilt. And I still have that. I actually, it used to be when he was younger, um, he used it, but also for a period of time even before that, I used it as, it was just a beautiful wall decoration because it was a big, like, I think it was an ark, and it had all the different animals hanging off of them and stuff. Just really lots of great color, right? And so, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, so now we got the underside done, which is like the boring part. But like I say, get that knocked out, and um, that way you don't have to be like, oh, I got my paint put away, and now I got to go ahead and take it back out again because I missed this spot, you know? So you guys are going to have to give, be my bird's eye view tonight because Matt's not around right now. He's actually, whoa, see how he just flung that paintbrush? Man. All right, it's okay. I got another one. We're good. We're good. Uh, but Matt's home actually making some supper for us tonight, so he went home just a little bit ago. I'm trying to think, what's he saying he's going to make tonight for supper? I have no idea. When you're married to a chef and he gets creative in the kitchen, just like I get creative, uh, so kind of like probably when I see a dresser and I'm like, and somebody says, what color are you going to paint that? And I'm like, oh, when I get to it, it'll come to me. I'll figure it out, you know, once I get to it. And he's like that when he cooks. Um, I will say, he'll say, I'm making supper tonight. And I'll say, okay, what do you plan on making? And he'll be like, I don't know. So then you, you kind of just have to like, okay, do I have, do I, do I not complain? Because I know it's going to be good. But I have to give up control of knowing what it's actually going to be that I'm eating, right? Yeah. Anybody else do that? Yeah. So we'll see what he's got made when I get home tonight. Last night he made these most amazing. Um, we have like a, a local meat shop with all local butcher meat into it. And it's just so, such good. But we he made this like gravy, mushroom gravy. And we had green beans with it. And, um, you know, freshly ground burger. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I don't know how he's going to outdo that from last night. You know what I'm saying? Man, throwing things around the workshop. Yes, right, Dawn? Seriously. Getting out some pent-up frustration, you know? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the, uh, the qualities of painting, right? All the good stuff. There you go. Don't take it out on your spouse. Just fling your paintbrush around a little bit, right? <laughs> Uh, do you ever see those places that make money where like you go in with uh, baseball bats and they let you like take them to computer parts and uh, cars and stuff like that? I think they're like really big over in Japan. They have some crazy stuff over there. But I think I saw a video of it one time. Crack me up. Crack me up. Good. And people would like show up with their suits and ties on and do it in the middle of their lunch break. <laughs> I guess they had very stressful jobs, you know? I don't judge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Did I try the keto cinnamon bun recipe? No, what are these? What is this that you speak of? I have so much to learn. I have not. I have not um, seen that or heard of that, but that sounds really good. My, my favorite treat right now, if you saw my vlog the other day, is giving myself some whipped cream with some dark chocolate um, chocolate chips. They're awesome. And yeah. So, so good, so, so good. I never thought that I would buy food off of Amazon. Like, true story, I always thought that was weird. Like, okay, Amazon is for like 
books and just things, IT things, that sort of thing. But I'm starting to find myself finding stuff. Who out there is like buys stuff off of Amazon? Like I have, I've been having um, like some chocolate chips sent to me and they're from a brand called Lily's. Has anybody ever had that before? And they're made with no sugar. And I think they're made with like stevia, which is like plant sugar. And um, so I've, that's the ones I've been ordering from online from Amazon. And yeah, I was like, okay, this is gonna be weird, like getting food in a box. And, but I couldn't find it locally, right? And so that's what I did. So worked out, it worked out, right? But yeah, just the age that we live in. You can like get anything now online and uh, specifically from Amazon and have it like delivered to you. It's crazy. And I don't know how fast they get it to you, man, but I swear to God, like I ordered a book this past week and I kid you not, it was like to me within 24 hours. And I'm like, how? How does that even work? And now apparently there's like these buttons that you can push, put on your wall next to your washer and dryer and you press the button and it orders like all the, you know, Tide, if you need Tide or dish detergent or toilet paper. Crazy stuff, right? Hey Trudy, how are you? You get your coffee on Amazon? See, you know what I'm saying? Heck yeah, it's just, it's just crazy now. Um, what we can get, like how you can shop in your pajamas at night and uh, just, you know, go to work the next day and by the time you get home or the next day or so, something's waiting for you on your doorstep, you know? Crazy. All right, guys, what do you think so far? Are you loving it? I'm just doing one coat of my um, Don't Make Me Blush. And boy, I will tell you, this wood is thirsty because I'm putting it on and it's like really sucking up into this little piece. This piece was handmade at one point. I'm, it just it looks like that to me. Those just the way the screws are. There's nothing like perfect about it. Somebody maybe handmade this at one point. I wonder, you know, if you ever think if furniture could tell a story, what it would say. It's crazy, right? You know what other thing um, always makes me wonder, like for real, in a bit of a creepy sort of way. Maybe I've seen too many uh, creepy movies. And, um, you know, watched or, or been in the room when Matt's watched them because he tends to like these eerie movies sometimes. Last night we, we watched this show called um, The Woods Are Haunted. Who's watching that? Man, at this point now, I don't know if I can walk from my car to my house because I live in the country and I'm pretty sure after last night that the Sasquatch is real, okay? So, yeah, it, it's getting pretty serious, right? But the other object that I buy a lot of them, but... I started just, I don't know, just the thought occurred to me one day. Well, two objects, and I'll tell you what they are. They are windows. Who agrees? Windows. I mean, think about it. Think about windows for a second. Like, it's just amazing to think, who looked through this window? What was their life like at the time? I've, like, repurposed so many old windows that have been just taken from homes and because, you know, they, they're no longer sealed and give the protection that, you know, the house needs anymore or windows got broken and that sort of thing. But the window, like, think about that. I spent a lot of time growing up looking out the window of my grandmother's house and I can remember she always had flowers on the uh, windowsill. She always had, she called them patients, I think she called them. And is it patients or carnations? It might be the same thing, but she always called them patient plants. And she had some pink carnations as well, which if you come to my shop, you'll notice that on my front counter, I also have a, um, they're not real because I don't tend to keep things alive in the plant world, um, but they're pink carnations. And I love it because every time I see my pink carnations when I come into work, I think of her because I did spend a lot of time at her house and I would look out the windows. And she would get mad because I would pick off like any sort of dead leaves and she'd be like, why are you touching my plants? I'm like, I'm just getting the dead leaf right here, you know? Because that's what I would see her do, right? Pick off all the, she'd go around and pick out all the dried leaves and throw them in the garbage. So maybe some days I, I just, you know, felt a little bit, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe they were still kind of green, all right? You know what I'm saying? I was just, just trying to help, just trying to help. But I think about windows and how many times somebody looks out a window, the story that the window had. Like these are the things I think about when I'm painting something. And um, the other thing is mirrors. Anybody else know what I mean when I say impatience? Thank you, Melissa. I swear, I have been wondering, I always heard her call them patient plants. 
but that must be what it is impatience I'm gonna have to look them up and that's always been like one of those things I've wondered about like what is the exact name of those plants I know what Nan called them and what I would I remember or at least I think I remember her saying but um, you know what I'm saying but the other things is definitely definitely um, mirrors I mean think about a mirror how many times do you look in a mirror yourself right and then you buy mirrors to paint and to give new life to that you find them at thrift stores and they're awesome to redo. Think about the life that that mirror has seen. You know what I'm saying? Like just, if it could talk, right? If furniture could talk, if windows could talk about the lives of people who own them. I just think it's amazing. I just think it's absolutely amazing. So for me as a painter, when I can take something um, that maybe at one point was really important to somebody and maybe they passed away and at this point it got lost or got kind of left in the shuffle and nobody really took ownership of it to be able to give it some new life and for it to go on to a second life I think that's a pretty amazing thing right I love it love 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 it all right so I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun thanks guys for being on here can the couch talk I don't know man I don't know that's a good question Jan maybe if you give it enough beer it might <laughs> hey Jan, how are you? So I am doing a giveaway uh, tonight and um, at the end of this video I'm going to holler out somebody who hung out with me and shared the video. Thank you for sharing the junk monkey love, you know what I'm saying? You help you with a few projects at your house? Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. This owl here? Yeah, absolutely. He'll be for sale. You can message me at junkmonkey paint at gmail.com. All the projects that I do on here, I sell. There's very, there's a few that I might keep, um, but I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time, I keep finding new homes for them. So I show you guys as I paint them, and then they move on. And I have a store, of course, for anybody who has uh, just joined my page and has not seen me broadcast live from my store downstairs. So I sell them in my store, and I also have a thrift store um, that I love to also junk and find my pieces at, but then I also sell my pieces there too. So they move on, somebody loves them, and you know what, I just, just get to keep doing what I love to do, right? So I get to inspire you guys to paint, and then somebody comes in and goes, you know what, I just want to have something that's completely finished already and bring it home, and for whatever reason, right, there's different seasons of life. That's why there's people who want to change their oils themselves and there's people who want to bring their vehicle to a garage and have somebody change it for them, right? Or some people like to mow the grass themselves and some people like to be like, hey, can I pay you to do it for me? So there's a little bit of both people out there and uh, so I'd love to serve both my customers that way, right? Yay, thank you. All right, so remember what I always say that the closer to the time that your paint has just went on and um, you know is drying, that's the easiest point at, at that time to be able to distress. And I'm a shabby lover and I want this arm because I know that some little itty bitty arm is going to be on here and um, I want it to be nice and worn and kind of cozy. Ugh. I have even good memories of like in our house just sitting and reading a book in a rocking chair, you know, when, was, when we had our fireplace, um, our, like a, a burner fireplace that we used for heat. We since changed to a pellet stove, and there's still some flame in the front, but it's not like, you know, before. But I do remember how nice it was um, to sit next to a rocking chair, or sit in a rocking chair, rather, next to a fire, and just read your book, right? Everybody's off doing their own thing in the house. You're doing your own thing. Love it, love it, love it. So, so nice. Give me one second here. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Let me see here. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. All right, boom, people. You know what I had to do? I had to whip out the whole band and delete band hammer, as Matt calls it. Ain't nobody got time for that. We sent Mr. Couch Man on his way. I hope he finds a good couch. He's, he can only watch us now. He can't interact with us. So, Charlie, if you're out there listening, buddy, email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com, and I'll hook you up with some good places you can find a couch, okay? 
In fact, watch my video from two weeks ago and I'll show you even how you can paint it, my friend. And let me just tell you, it can be gorgeous. So look at that. Do you see how I'm bringing some of that brownie frowny wood through? You know what I say, that I like to paint brownie frowny, but at the same time, um, I do like to allow a little bit of it to come through, right? Because I want to enjoy that distressed look. And I always say to you guys on here, you know, like, which, which is your favorite? Do you like a lot of distress, that sort of thing? Heck yeah. You know, but I got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind uh, playing with people for a little bit, but um, yeah, you can't be nice. We're going to send you out in your way. You don't get to play in the sandbox with us anymore. Sorry. Too bad. So sad. All right. So yeah, I got to add some distress scene. And guys, I'm really thinking right now that I've got to add a stencil. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, one second here. So here's what I'm going to do. So of course I'm pulling out my stencil book. I've got a bunch of these that I fill with stencils. All right. And I'm going to pick one that I want to put on here. Okay. So um, I don't want to do like anything that's too big because remember this is a small chair, right? So let's just add a little, little small uh, stencil right there and uh, take that off. There we go. I think I'm gonna do maybe this one. Like I was thinking that the, like if I put a bird on here, I love a black silhouette, but I don't want anything that's too big. So I've gotta go in proportion to the, to the chair itself. This one here, I love this blossom and this could definitely work as well. What do you guys think of this one right here? I think that's really cool, right? You got your stencil book today, that's awesome. And, but here's my tip that I think I'm gonna use tonight is that um, like this is a big old stencil which could go right in the middle. That would be beautiful actually now that I think about it. I could put that right in the middle. I was gonna say that maybe what I'll do is I'll put it off to the side and do a corner, but I kind of laid that down there and I'm thinking this could be cute. So here's how I help kind of decide where I, what stencil I'm gonna use. So this is a very, very petite chair. So you see how this stencil has very, very petite like delicate sort of style into it, right? So that's gonna be a good fit. I would never wanna use anything that looks too big and chunky because it's going to overpower the rest of this beautiful chair. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one right here. Let's just put it down. I eyeball it. You can use painter's tape if you want, but for me, I am just pretty much an eyeballer. I hold it down with my fingers and do my finger acrobatics, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and grab some, um, some of our black. Real quick, let me see here. All right, and I need to grab a brush. Getting ready to grab a brush and go bananas on it. Could be really cute with a little pillow, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see here. Love that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead into my last little bit of stash that's on here. Antique, uh, sorry, black velvet. Yes, right, it kinda does look like a dually. So I kinda like that fragile sort of look. I'm gonna grab my brush and put it into my paint and just kind of like exactly dab 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 pull it off the side less is more when you're doing this and I can put it in any sort of like I can put it anywhere but I like how this leads right like there's a point here there's a point there it's also rounded which this has curviness to it so it's gonna go in really really nice and now I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down with my hands and begin the process of doing my dab 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 all right and you can see I don't do a whole lot of paint because it's gonna be much nicer if I just kind of like take my time and build up my color if I'm putting color on here so just a little bit of time I'm down to the bottom of my can actually I did open up a new one today as well. This might be one of the last projects I'll get out of this one. Yay, Deb, Deb, Deb. Thank you. Thank you for sharing too, guys. Thank you for sharing the Junk Monkey love. Hopefully inspiring somebody out there who's like, I can make my home beautiful and um, feel good about my home, do it on a budget, and maybe make use of what I already have in my space, not have to buy new stuff, because life's expensive. It doesn't take a lot to add up, right? And so um, putting some paint 
on a buffet that you already have. You know, somebody, I think it was Janet, one of our Junk Monkey friends, uh, Janet, she posted in our Junk Monkey Paint Projects group this week and she said that she's been doing her house in teals. And I think she had like some really like, like you know, really bold colors going down. I forget the other ones she had, maybe orange or rust, that sort of thing. And she said she's in a season of her life where she's decided to go a little bit more muted, right? And so she was saying how she's just repainting everything again. And I think she had like stormy forests and some really lights, light colors. And that's the cool thing about, you know, when you, when you know how to paint your furniture and you know how easy it is to do it. So if you're ready for like fall and you want to have a, you know, a smoking hot red buffet, you can do that. And then later on this winter, you know, maybe you get to January and you're like, I want, to I want it to be blue. I want it to be blue. Just paint over it blue again, right? So, you know, you can keep adding color to what you have and changing it up for the seasons. And it doesn't have to be like some crazy, you know what I'm saying? Some crazy thing. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Doing a little aggressive dabbing here right now. My poor brush has been around. Oh, he's home making me supper. That's what Matt's doing. I am thankful he's not here and he's home making me supper. So, you know, that's a good thing. Um, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead now and whip this off. You guys ready for it? You ready for it? Boom. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Don't you just love that? Isn't it so pretty? Yeah, you're seeing the uh, evening sunshine come in and dance on the wall. What do you guys think? Should I put like one, maybe like a lead down into that right there, just kind of on the back? So that way I carry this somewhere. I could leave it just like this. But I'm really thinking about putting just that little pop. Let me walk around to the other side here so I don't have to stand in front of the camera. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's go ahead and do the front right here. All right, the back could also be a fun place. All right, I'll show you before I turn this around if I can, but let me just go ahead. Basically, maybe I can do it in this direction. You guys see that? I think that's pretty well even. Let's see here. There you go. Nothing to get crazy with, cheese whiz. You got this, right? Let me move it up a little bit right there. Yay! All right, so let's go ahead and do a little dab, dab, dab action right on the back. And... Get that right there. So because I did this in uh, shabby distress style, I'm not again trying to get full coverage. This is why I'm going very, very light. And you'll notice that um, our paint, which was designed for me as a shabby painter, I like my paint to be chunky. Chunky monkey. And uh, ready for it, guys? You ready for it? Yay! All right, so there we go. How sweet is that? $4.99, the cutest gift for some little person in your life or maybe you already know somebody who um, who has a chair and you know you just want to make it their own this would be pretty even as well if you like put your name across the top or did something like that wouldn't that be beautiful yeah you could put wood spool backing too yeah you could do all kinds of you know whatever style you want okay let me go ahead and make sure this is dry because you got to seal it and then you can watch and see how this is going to pop when I put my sealer on it too which is pretty darn cool right Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Cindy, for saying it's really, really cool. The, uh, this one here, let me think. This one here I got, I believe it was at Joanne Fabrics. So I like to collect stencils. I like the hard plastic ones. I am not a fan of the stickable ones that I have to wash or sticks on itself. Or These are ones that will last forever as long as I keep them flat and keep, you know, keep them nice and um, I was going to say tidy, but that's not even the word because I don't even wash them. Um, but you know what I'm saying. Just keep them in my book and I'm good to go. All right. So let me go ahead and brush, 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 brush. Let me see. Do I have a brush? Well, I've got my wax brush right here. And um, I want to just find a clean brush just to get some of that dust from when I distressed. Some of that chalk dust. So if I don't have one of my mason brushes that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot, and they're seriously for like brushing brick dust. They're awesome, they're usually about five, five, seven dollars. Just use one of these, you know what I mean? Just like, just a cheap brush that you might have laying around, and you will be good to go. 
So now I'm gonna grab my, let's see here, got my Monkey Shine. I don't think I can say it other, any other way now. I always call it Monkey Shine. <laughs> but yes, my Monkey Shine, which is my all natural clear wax finishing polish. It's got yummy oils. It's very, very healthy, um, non-toxic and natural. And I'm gonna go ahead and seal this piece. And I'm gonna tell you the wood, the wood on this piece is going to just, I know it's gonna smile at me because it has gone so long without any nourishment, right? Yeah, don't make me blush is the color, isn't it awesome? Yeah, do I have paint on my forehead right there? Look at this. I never, you know why? Because I wipe my forehead, that's why. Do you see that right there? Oh my gosh. It's the, it's the uh, zigzag, it's the, the lightning bolt from Harry Potter. What do you think? Should I keep it on and go home and see how long it takes until Matt looks at me in the face and see, you know, ever have a convert? Yeah, monk shine. Ever have a conversation with somebody and be like, yeah, how long, how long before you turn and look at me and see what's actually going down, okay? The Harry Potter um, symbol. Like, what did it mean? Oh, wasn't, wasn't that like, what was that guy's name? Can't remember. All right, did it go away? I think it's gone. There we go. All right, so I've got my, my um, buffing cloth, AKA like face cloth, you know what I'm saying, to get off the paint off your face. All right, we've got our clear beeswax polish right here. Yeah, this is my magic wand right here. <laughs> I love that, there you go. My magic wands. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just basically in circles as much as possible. Again, the circles, because our paint is porous, it's a chalky style paint, um, you wanna make sure you seal off all the paint pores. So as much as possible, you're basically hitting it from all the different directions and you're filling in the holes, right? It's like whack-a-mole. Imagine your piece like the whole whack-a-mole game. And your job is to basically get, make sure that you get, you know, everything's like laying down inside there. And what that will do is just form a seal all over your piece, right? Yay! Oh, I love it. Yeah, I definitely have some black paint on my fingers because it's following me around. Yeah. But what's a little paint? I'm just gonna go ahead and get a, I keep my like Lysol disinfectant wipes or any brand, whatever's cheapest around. Those are great for uh, paint spills on the floor or anything like that because paint does fly when you're having fun. Who can attest to that, right? We're gonna give this some love, some love. I'm so happy for this little rocking chair. donated, ready for a new season of life, for somebody to love it. Just making sure I get my polish all over it and then I can buff it off. I have plenty of time to work with it so it's not gonna go white and pasty or dry on me. Love, love, love. So I have to tell you that um, I took somebody's advice, I'm trying to remember who it was, told me on here that these, you guys know I put up these handmade leather bracelets on our website, junkmonkeypaint.com, there's still a few left, and I had an order come in of them, and somebody has said to me on here that you should put, um, leather bracelets are awesome, you said that you got one yourself, and you put your essential oils, you rubbed your essential oils on these leather br bracelets, and they're genuine leather, and uh, so I did that this morning. So I have to say thank you for the person that gave me that idea. So this morning I took some of um, my oils like in a natural body product that I have and they have, it has like, I think it was citrus and, and lemon. There was one more as well, like a blend. And uh, I put it on my leather bracelet this morning. And it's funny cause I'm painting right now and you know, just moving around and I can smell the air from like, you know, from over this. And it, it smells so nice. I'm so glad. I have smart friends, see? I would have not thought of that. That is just brilliant. But uh, I have this one essential oil that I love. I gotta go find it now and put on it as well. It was, it's Breathe. Anybody know that one by doTERRA? I think it's from by doTERRA. And it's got like peppermint into it. Oh my goodness gracious. I love that one. It's good for my allergies. All right, I think we got it all over, right? all over. Yay. 
There we go. You haven't worn, oh, orange essential oil. Oh yeah, I bet you that's good. I tend to love, I love sweet. I don't know, I love a lot of essential oils. The only thing I can't do is like lavender. I get headaches with lavender and eucalyptus, eucalyptus I think it's called. Um, so I'm not good with like any sort of tree scented stuff, but I love like orange and sweets, that sort of stuff. Just like more fresh lemons, citrus. You know, peppermint's probably one of my favorites though. Love, love, love. So, so nice. Didn't it come out so nice, Karen? I'm really happy with it. Some days you go to the junk store and you're like, Oh man, I can't believe I got here and got that before somebody else did. This will be perfect. And there's always somebody out there that needs a little rocking chair. So this shaped up really, really nice. All right, I'm just gonna buff it all in, make sure it's good to go. Jimmy Buffett, as I always say. Oh, so, so sweet. Catherine, I started painting furniture 10 years ago. And I started from my home and my business continued to grow and grow and grow. And um, it's just not stopped to the point where I was able to leave my corporate job. And now I work with my husband and my son and uh, we are now the Jump Monkey. And so this whole um, paint that we sell, the whole line of paint that we sell came from just a need that I saw 10 years ago when I started painting furniture. And um, I wanted my paint to behave a certain way. And my husband, just like he's home making supper tonight, God love him, he's just really good at combining things. And you know, he's always been good at sauces and stuff like that. And he did some research and we started um, experimenting and finally got to paint the way that I like to paint. And you know, it's our own recipe. And then from there, as I painted furniture for people, people would say, hey, um, what brand of paint do you use? And I'd say, I don't really um, I use anybody's brand. I just use my own paint and I make it myself with my husband. And from there, it started, hey, do you think I could get a little bit of your paint? Who remembers when we first started putting them like in mason jars? I started off with a vintage suitcase full of just a few that I would make available to customers that came to buy my painted furniture. And they kept coming back, kept coming back, kept bringing friends, and before I knew it, the Junk Monkey was born. So it's pretty cool, right? Pretty darn cool. And I am super thankful that I get to do what I do every single day. Like seriously, you have no idea. No idea. All right, there you go, what do you think? I love it. Oh yeah, look, I can see the sunshine on Mr. Owl over there. Look at him all shiny and bright. It's so awesome. Yeah, Shel uh, Sheila, you could put on a, um, you could definitely put on like a stencil on him. Guys, I had to show you. I don't know if you saw my video. This is one of the projects I got to do today. You guys see it? It is my, believe it or not, this is a frame that I got as well. At the same thrift store, I got this for $2.99 actually. You can still see I have not even taken the, cup, the uh, price tag off at $2.99. And um, so I did a time-lapse video showing how I did this test on here. Uh, one of our Jump Monkey friends actually said, that's a great, great piece of decor for like, you know, a dorm room. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, that would be cool. And you could do them all different sizes because you know you can get picture frames different sizes. You can use uh, the first letter for your first name or your last name, whatever you want it to be. But that was my project I did earlier today. So I got two projects knocked out today, which I'm super happy about. So go back and watch um, this video. It's the post before this one. And you can see how I brought that to life. And in fact, let's do a giveaway on that post as well, just for fun since I'm talking about it. So you guys are enjoying the Junk Monkey Love. Um, if you guys, when you're done here, go to this particular post. It's the one right before here. Give it some love, give it a share, and uh, tonight I will go in and randomly pick somebody and say, hey, thank you so much for sharing the Junk Monkey Love and giving somebody a great idea. Pass it on, pass them the love on. All right, I'm gonna come bring my chair over here real fast so I can sit in a position to be able to see your comments to see if anybody has any questions. Let me know if you do. All right, let's see here. Whew, all right, boy, that turned out cute, right? I love it. All right, gotta grab my water. Thank you, Catherine. Yes.
Thank you. So yeah, there you go. But this, you, oh no, I did it to myself. I shouldn't have looked back. You know when you cannot see what you just saw? You were supposed to tell me. Look, how did I miss that one leg back there? Do you see it? Do you see it? It's like right there. Now I gotta go get that, right? Amy, you did? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to go check my mailbox on the side of my shop and see if, uh, if it's there. Because if you say that it's arrived, then I bet you it's probably in my mailbox waiting for me. Which means tomorrow, Amy, I will have more happy mail. Like, what the heck? What did you send me? Oh, I can't wait. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of color right there because I gotta do it while I have my brush out and while I'm sitting, and that just proves my point, that when you sit down and you finish painting chairs, you're like, how did I miss that, that part over there, right? So when I, um, I'll probably do some more down the road, but I have done a lot of what I call flip your furniture nights here locally, and um, I will tell you, you don't realize that until you paint a chair, that is probably one of the hardest projects that you could ever do because it is so, uh, like they have so many parts to it, right? And so, yeah, you always look a different way and you see it and you're like, dang, I always miss something. So anybody who comes to a flip your furniture night is always like, why did I bring a chair? Why did I bring a chair? Catherine painted a stool top as a paint pour. Oh, that would be so pretty. Do you guys want to see um, those bowls that I was working on the other day? Three of them have dried. I still have the other one to do. Maybe tomorrow. You guys down with it? Do you want me to show you this particular style that I do and like what I do to get this sort of look? But there you go. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, right? Look how nice that is. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely, Gian. We'll do it again. We'll definitely do it again. I love that. This is done with her chalky style paints. And so look how pretty that is, right? So if you can find, like, if you can go to a thrift store and find, like, a big bowl to, hand, to put your, anything in, whether, you know, it'll just be, like, a tray and you put your soaps on next to your uh, sink or something to hold your, you know, you clean it and then you use it for your utensils. That's really cool. But I tell you what, tomorrow, how about I show you how I did these because these are so cute and they're so easy. I'll show you the colors that I used. Look how pretty that is. Like, oh. So cool, so cool, I love it. But yeah, this is what these were before. And uh, I've been dying to get the, this big guy right here, right? The mother load right here. So how about we knock that one out tomorrow? And I might do a different color, right? We shall see, but it could be so good. Oh, coffee containers, that would be perfect for this. Yes, yes, so join me tomorrow and uh, we'll come out maybe with a, with maybe two more color combos and have some fun. But I get like a whole like leaning tower of Pisa of these for $5 and 99 cents. It is so fun when you like get ideas and then you're able to go to your thrift store and go, I could do that with this, I could do that with this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, everything is for sale, absolutely. Matt will probably tell you he'll sell me too. I don't know. All right, oh, no worries, Catherine, all good. All right, well, that is it. Let me go ahead and grab a winner from this post and then make sure on the, uh, yeah, Catherine's all worried because she knows I am a ban and deleter, ban and deleter. And she's like, oh no, listen, I, I, I know. You're good, it's all good. Uh, all right, let me see here. Uh, but yeah, on the other post I put out, um, go ahead and do a love and share and we'll find orange smells good. Oh, I love orange. Yes, it does, yes, it does. All right. Okay, I'm doing the up, down, all around. Hokey pokey with my fingers. The share that it lands on on a post and the universe says tonight that I'm gonna smile on you with $20 chunk monkey love. All right, give me one second here. One second here. All right, here we go. Everybody's in silence. I swear I'm scrolling slow, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I promise. All right, my winner tonight is Donna. Okay. Because I grew up in Canada, I don't know. This could be Beauchamp or Beau Beauchamp. I don't know, depending on how you pronounce it. B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P. Donna, B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P. All I know is her first name's Donna. And it ends with champ, and she's a champ, all right? But you're all winners. I want you to know that. So I just have a fun tonight, and uh, 
giving somebody some junk monkey love. So I'll do a second giveaway over, like I say, on the other one a little bit later tonight, maybe around like 11 or so. I'll pop in and tag you and tell you if you are the person. Excuse my finger because I'm going to the bottom so I can talk with you guys again. Yay! All right. Congratulations, Donna. I love how you guys are so friendly. Just We just have such a great community. So thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I think that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll show you how I did this. these really cool... This is what I call my pottery inspired, my pottery inspired line. And uh, so, well, maybe I'll find a bunch of things to show you guys how you could use this look. Ah, oh, cause I'm just thinking like candlesticks with drippy paint, like how beautiful would that be? So awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I think you're awesome. Thank you, Barbara, again for that gorgeous owl. You wanna see it again? You're gonna wanna see it again. All right, cause if I say it, you're gonna be like, I missed it. Seriously, this is how awesome you are right here. This is how you um, just make my day. Look at this, love it. All right, time to go and uh, transfer all my existing purse over into that one. And um, oh yeah, we'll be wearing that one to work tomorrow. All right, see you guys, thanks for hanging out, bye.